Good afternoon, guys. All right, we're all sparkly. It's the end of another busy week here at the Men's Health Clinic. For oh, clinic is incredibly busy. I've been trying to think about what testosterone does and the overwhelming feeling that guys have on testosterone replacement therapy is not resolution of their grumpiness, according to the Daily Mail, or not achieving the Love Island body. It's a sense of calm, a sense of perspective, something that is lost with low testosterone. Some of the cardinal symptoms and signs of low testosterone are low mood, anxiety, depersonalization, troublesome fatigue, brain fog, low libido, the list goes on. And you kind of go, right, okay, I want testosterone replacement therapy to reverse all of these things. And you do, of course you do. But you want a sense of perspective. You want to feel normal. What the hell is normal? I don't know. But what you really want is to be able to cope with the stresses and strains that life will undoubtedly throw at you. You can enjoy the good times with low testosterone because they're good times. But the hard times, the challenging times, they are what knocks you on your ass. You cannot see the wood for the trees. So with normal testosterone levels, you can hopefully cope with the bad times, find a solution and crack on. Because if life is about anything, it's about movement, moving forwards. Lots of my guys are struggling when they present to clinic because they cannot see the wood for the trees. They put the effort in and they don't see the reward. So testosterone replacement therapy will allow you to achieve your reward, to earn your reward. It won't do the work for you. You can still see that glass as half empty or glass half full. It's about choice and it's about making the right choices. Lots of us have made the wrong choices in the past. It's time now with that knowledge and that experience to undo those naughty things and start making positive strides and steps towards a brighter future. So we talk about irritability with low testosterone and that comes as a result of, yes, this seesaw effect that we've spoken about before. On one side, you've got your sympathetic drive, your cortisol that's keeping you alive, keeping you active, keeping you alert. It's firing all the time because it's got to. Why? Because you've got to survive. And then on the other side, you've got your parasympathetic nervous system, the calming, calm part of your nervous system. Your testosterone. Yes, your calming testosterone. Testosterone does not make you. Arr. It is a calming hormone. It's actually balancing out the sympathetic drive and the cortisol that is there to keep you alert and alive to keep you fighting, fighting to survive. But in order to survive effectively, because we no longer need to survive and flight and our egos get involved, we decide to fight and we drive ourselves into low testosterone. But with normal testosterone and wisdom and experience, we can then realize that we don't need to fight all the time and we can have a considered response to the situation. We can start to make wiser choices. Wiser, not wise choices, because, yeah, there's always work to be done. But normal testosterone levels should give you the ability to make a wiser choice. So you don't have to overreact to that person cutting you up at the junction. You don't have to overreact to your missus going, is she deliberately trying to piss you off? No, she's not. You might perceive it as that. And in exceptional circumstances, she might be trying to piss you off. But nine times out of 10, your irritability, your angst as a result of somebody talking to you in a certain way, maybe not the way that you perceive it to be. They may be trying to help you, but because you've got low testosterone or because you've got dysregulated hormone levels from a crappy protocol, you may think they are trying to wind you up. Clearly, 
There's no rationalization in them trying to make your day worse than it already is. So perhaps your perspective is distorted. So allow your testosterone now to work for you, not against you. Testosterone is a calming hormone. You then need to implement the parasympathetic nervous system. So it isn't all about testosterone. Everything's about testosterone. Testosterone, testosterone. No, you still have to make those wise choices. So implement the parasympathetic nervous system. Start looking to breath work. Yes, breath work, cold showers, ice dipping, mindfulness, meditation. Because when we look at this seesaw effect and we have the sympathetic drive and cortisol on one side and we're thinking about fighting or flighting, effective fighters implement the parasympathetic nervous system. They are cool, calm and collected in a scrap because... As we've discussed before, your survival drive should tell you to flight. But if you decide to fight, utilize the parasympathetic nervous system, utilize, utilize this in order to be an effective opponent. Now that opponent might be another person. It shouldn't be, hopefully. But it might be the misdirection and misinformation that abounds in this world because we are oversaturated with nonsense. And as I've said before, we are physical beings in a world of psychological stress. And that stress is an illusion. So if you've got a roof over your head, if you've got food on the table and you have people around you that love you, you are richer than most people in this world. And you should be thankful, not searching for nonsense, which we're all searching for. We should have a sense of perspective and realize that that is all an illusion and it's easy come, easy go. If I lost everything, it wouldn't matter to me. I mean, every, all of my material possessions, they're ultimately meaningless. What's, what's of meaning? This. This relationship I have with the iPhone camera, no, <laughs> with, with you guys. Because as Bill Hicks says, we are one consciousness experiencing itself subjectively. Make sure that every interaction you have with another human being is a positive experience. And if you do that, you will find a sense of well-being that was not there before. Because as much as we look internally, looking after your lifestyle, stress reduction, sleep hygiene, nutrition and exercise, how you communicate with the outside world, whether that be simple human beings, simple human beings, and the animal kingdom and everything else, that will be the difference between contentment and angst. We don't want angst. We want you to be cool, calm and collected. Have a considered response to the situation. Not overreact, a cool, calm, considered response. And healthy hormone levels will allow you, it will give you the foundation to do that. But still, it's going to be your nervous system. And this is going to be the deciding factor in whether you see that glass as half empty or glass half, glass half full. See it as glass half full. And do what? Yeah, one more time. Earn your reward.